What's going on guys? This is Tony. Hey, it's Easter. And Jesus has risen from the grave to change the world forever. Um, after church, came home and ate lunch. And, you know, stuff like that. And now I just thought I'd make a quick video for you guys. Just telling you my thoughts on the Turf Master versus the Time Master. Now they do have the new Turf Master HDX. And they even have newer versions of this Turf Master. Which I don't have. Um, and so I'll list the few changes that they made on it. But I really just want to make this video on do I think the price is worth it, yes or no. And I uh, thought maybe I'd just start like up the handle and work my way from the back of the mower all the way up to the front. And so, oh man, I seen that my man, JC, the lawn care guy, got a new mower today, gravely. So I'll have that down in the description. Even right before I came out here, I was watching a hot dog eating competition from 2018. It was nuts. <laughs> Y'all need to watch that. I'll have that down in the description as well. Anyway, let's get on to my video. So, um, this is a 2014 um, Turf Master. Now, they have changed it and made it so now it has, it has like a bar on the top and a bar on the bottom. I had an X Mark 21 that I had for years that was that same design. And so, but this, this uh, one bale system where you move it move it over and then pull it up to turn the blades on it's not bad you know i don't know if this one pull down is better because then you have two bars you have to worry about and this one at least you only have one bar so you know i don't really uh, have any opinions on that either way like i said i did have an x mark 21 that had the uh lever on top lever on the bottom I had that for a while so you know but anyway so the new all the newer ones are going to have the bar on the top small bar on the top small bar on the bottom after 2014 this is like one of the earlier generations of them but let's get into it starting from handle to handle right on down you know as you can see and i apologize about the wind because there is some wind out here um as you can see i have uh i don't know if you can really see down here it's shining right there because i've literally worn the paint off like i've cut uh so many yards with this mower that um you know over the years that the paint has just worn off here and here so i do use this thing um it has a lot of hours on it it's been an awesome mower but let's start with the handle you know this obviously is the this system and you can just you can see this little part right there you slide this over boom when it when it pulls up this gold bar the blades are on so um it works great it's very heavy duty but um, not nearly as user friendly as this, because you can either just pull this, you know, with once the blades are on, or you can just hold on, you know, with the bar here, you can just hold on to this and just push. You don't have to use the blue thing, um, you know, but the blue thing is there in case you want it. So, you know, start with the handle and work our way down. So this way more user friendly, less heavy duty, but way more user friendly. All right. Now, let's look at the bags. Look at the difference here. Look at the deepness on that, on those two bags. Um, residential one holds way more, way more grass. Um, you see these flaps, this one is metal and this one is plastic. Um, not that that is a huge deal, but, so again, more heavy duty. This one, and then let's moving up a little farther. This, you know, same mulch plug basically in both of them. Um, you can pull this handle and just fold this handle up and it's out of your way and it's really nice. This one has bolts, but as you can see, I put some pins on mine. Put some pins right here. So that way I can still fold it up. But when you're walking up in the trailer, if you gotta go up front and get some more weeder string, this thing still, because these these parts will just be sticking out so they'll still whack you in your shins and you're trying to get more uh, <laughs> weeder string and stuff like that. So, you know, I don't know. It's okay, it's better than it not being able to fold up at all. But um, anyway, as you can see, this part, same, same on both of them. I think the actual deck part is the same, um, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, wheels are same size, although on the 2015, 16, 17, 18, whatever, the wheels are going to be a little wider and a little bigger on the newer ones. So I think the bigger wheels would be better. Um, but these are the wheels I have on there. 
and uh, as you see the exact same as that I assume the bearings are probably similar quality um, you see this is less heavy duty the the height adjustment you see on this one you pick up on the motor a little bit and you pull this up and it goes down these slots um, and as you can see the uh, this one has a commercial engine this one's a residential engine you can get a lot more gas in this one um, but don't fill this one all the way up because I have had some problems with this venting system years ago and I couldn't I was having fuel issues and I had to end up putting a new tank on it and I think what it was is like it had a uh, see I bought this mower barely used um, from a landscape company here that had a bunch of those bought this one didn't like this one um, because it's heavier and stuff so he wanted to sell it so I bought it from and I think they had tipped it up on its side you know just maybe sharpening the blades or something and they had ruined this little ventilation system up here on the top of this tank so that's something to be careful of like even though this holds a lot of gas I I just make a practice not to fill it up all the way and I've never had an issue with it and that was many that was years you know a few years ago on um, this engine's quieter um, you know I feel like this this filtration is not the best um, this is actually an aftermarket filter I believe it's like a I think it's a stins and this is like a tougher tougher rub uh, foam gasket the stock the stock Kawasaki one um, as it's vibrating that lower gasket tends to uh, like crumble up and disappear which could suck dirt into there that's you know something so I don't know I kind of like the air filter on that one even though it's less heavy duty because I feel like this air filter I don't know it's just it's okay but it's not my favorite and as you see i got a lot of use on this machine i've already cleaned that off you know several times over the years but it's sweaty you know i just pulled these both out of the trailer right now so um so that's the engine on that one i feel like this engine probably will last longer but this one i feel like is uh just as strong or stronger and maybe you know if you keep the oil changed this one probably lasts for a long time as well um, and if you had to replace this engine, this one's going to be way cheaper than this one will be to replace. But you probably won't have to replace this one. You might have to replace that one eventually. And uh, another purpose for this video is just to see is the cost difference, you know, worth it to you. And so those are the engines. Okay, so one thing about this engine, it runs good, it sounds good, pretty easy to start. Um, you know, but this gas tank, I do not like this gas tank. And I'll show you why. Cause see, it has this foam in there, and uh, you you really can't tell how much gas is in it because of that uh, sponge. I said foam, but it's like a sponge, so you can't really tell how much gas is in it. So unless it's totally full, it does you can't tell how much is in there. And with that big old sponge and that whole thing, I feel like that takes up some of the room, so it doesn't hold as much gas as I feel like maybe it should. But there's must be a reason why it's in there because um, people have told me not to remove that so it is what it is i just make sure i top it off before every yard that i use it because y'all know I, I mow a lot of yards with this and um you know you don't want to be in the back of a property somewhere and it runs out and you have to go get a gas can or certainly don't want to push this back to the truck because you know it's, it's a heavy mower um, so that's one thing so the tank on that one you know a little bit of complaint on that I have a lot of time on this one. I have more time on this one, but I have at least, I don't know, probably 20 tanks or so on this one. So I got a, a feel for it. Um, so, you know, in the, the transmission on this one is fully metal. The transmission on this one does have a plastic um, pulley on the top. I've replaced the transmission once on this one. Um, but what it was is the ears, there's little tabs on the throttle cable and those were worn out right down there by the transmission. So I don't think the transmission was worn out. I think just those tabs were worn out, and so it kind of felt like it because it wasn't responding good. But while I had it all apart, I put a new transmission in here. A while back, it's been great. Um, and this is a this is a 2018, and this one is a 2014. So that's the deal in transmission. They're not that hard to change, in my opinion. It's totally worth it. Um, I'll never own another 21 after having these. I might own another 21, but what I'm saying is I wouldn't own a 21. And not have these like this is so much better than 21 like I don't know how to explain this to you guys but 
a guy like me that does a lot of push mow yards on a lot of high end yards so much better than a 21 just because it saves you so much walking time um anyway let's move on you see this cover is kind of the same although this has a little thing where you can turn these half turn and take this plate off so you can look in there and this one is not you have to just remove the whole cover like you know to keep the grass out of your pulleys and stuff um have not had an issue with pulleys on either one of these pulleys might be a little bit better on this one i'm not sure about that um so i think this part of the deck i think is the same this part and then i think that they bolt bolt this heavier duty part on the front of this one because let's move on to the deck you know i feel like this this part is the same i feel like this front part you see this is kind of cheaper and it you know moves them down it works fine but this is heavy duty i mean you cannot hurt this thing so like if you're not going to tie your mowers down you're just going to let them roll around and bang in the trailer this one is going to be better for that this one you know if you just let it roll around bang around you can break up this stuff not that hard so but for me i always keep my stuff secured and all that so it's not a problem for me this you can pull this up and that whole metal plate just comes out this one has it's like a little plastic thing spring loaded and so you put your discharge thing on under there and that just kind of presses down on it so i kind of like this one better because you don't have to keep up with that plate every time when you have to you know like let's say you're going to discharge on a lawn and so you got to take that plate out and put the put your di your side chute thing on there and this one at least you know that part just stays on there just stays spring down but like i said this is heavier duty i would say if you have crews of guys and they're going to be using them um this one is better it's it's everything about this is heavier duty it's got this bumper here keep from hitting the engine and stuff like that um just like the way the wheels are the way all this is mounted i mean this is tough steel and this is not it's plastic like um but this one's like 1900 bucks this one 9.99 so almost double price you could almost get two of these for that one we'll finish up this video i won't ramble on anymore so but those are my thoughts i feel like uh yes this is a lot more money but it is better but this one is way more user friendly this one's lighter if i pull up to a nice manicured yard tomorrow have both of these on the trailer and i'm about to mow it i'm gonna choose this one every time um another big thing that i wish that one has that this one has see this 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 um throttle so like if you're in the winter and you're mulching leaves and it's really dusty you can kind of turn this throttle down a little bit and kind of mulch them at lower rpm so you don't have as much dust and stuff and so that's great for this one like um so that is one thing i really love about this one as far as mulching leaves this one you know it's just full throttle all the time when you start it up that engine is just running at the high rpms and it just stays like that to shut it off so in that aspect you know if you're mowing thick leaves you want that high rpms but you know let's say you already mulched them up some you're going for that second mulch or something this is awesome because you can turn it down some so my plan is to keep them both use this one like during the leaf season mulching up stuff you know not worrying about keeping it as perfectly sharp as this one and then when it's super hot super hot outside and we're doing those nice green manicured yards i'm gonna use this one only for that like no leaves for this one just only grass cutting all my leaves and stuff this one and some grass cutting with this one too and as far as the shut off you have to just walk up here and turn it down to stop and actually mine just because it's worn out so over the years it have to like pull it back towards go a little bit and then it'll shut off like if you just pull it down to stop it won't stop running i had to replace this uh, fuel filter a little while ago this one does have an oil filter so that's a big deal too that's one thing i forgot to mention this has an oil filter i don't know if you can see on the video it looks like on the screen i don't know if you can it's black there you go um so obviously it's going to filter the oil and that's going to help the engine last longer too but like i said if you keep that oil change on that one i feel like you know it'll last for a long time too so anyway the shut off on that one you have to just pull it down right there this one does have a little uh thing right here like you just like a little bubble just press it and it springs back to go um that's pretty much it guys i mean both great units both of them are good like i said if you could find a commercial one that was slightly used that someone didn't use it much because they didn't like it, it was heavy or something you get a good deal on it the commercial one's awesome and you know for years this is the only mower i've ever you know i cut all my push my yards with this you know since i got rid of my x mark 21s and honda and everything um so 
you know, this is a great mower, but this one is lighter, more user friendly. So for me, I kind of like to have both of these. Um, I've thought about, since this one's many years old, selling it and getting another one of those, but I kind of want to keep it just for this reason of the fact that you could mulch leaves at lower RPMs. And I know that seems kind of silly, but, um, you know, it's a pretty big deal when you get to that mulching leaves every, that time, you know, those months of the year where I'm mulching leaves every day. I kind of like to be able to turn that down a little bit if I want to, the throttle down. Um, so anyway that's the deal with these two like i said it's not the turfmaster hdx has come out i believe it's really expensive and that has a totally different transmission it's all updated it's all it's heavier than this mower and it's you know probably stronger and better i don't think i would buy it i think it's like 2800 bucks y'all correct me or something if i'm wrong because i'm i'm not totally sure about that um but for 999 you can't beat this mower. I think it is awesome. They had some transmission issues like the first couple years, but they've gotten a lot better. They really have. Um, you know, I've even talked to Toro reps at the GIE and lots and lots of friends and stuff that have these. And like, you know, the first couple years, they're a little iffy. Just like any product is a, is iffy the first couple years. Any car, like for example, that was the, um, this is like the first generation of the CVT transmission, constant variable transmission. And we had to replace the transmission in this car once. Um, you know, it's just like anything the first generation, you know, could have some issues. And so, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean a product's bad just because the first one that comes out has some bugs. You know, it's just kind of how products work. I wish they could work all the bugs out of that and at all these and everything before they sell them. But, you know, whatever. You know, it is, it is what it is. So, anyway, I love both of these mowers. I feel like if I was going to buy... If I was gonna buy one brand new, I'm gonna go with this one just because it's half the money. And there's a lot of things about this that I like even better than that. But that one is going to last longer. If you have crews of guys and you're sending these out on the trailers and they're gonna be banging them up all day, that one's gonna last, outlast this one. But for me, if you're a solo guy and you're gonna keep your stuff secure and really pay attention to all your details and keep up in your maintenance and stuff, Go with the go with this one because you could buy two of these for the price of that one. Or if you find one of those with low hours on it that's used, get that. Or you know if you can find one that's low hours of these that's you know used, get that too. I couldn't find these used. I've been looking for years. Um, you know I had ran up on a deal on that one. My uh, a, a Toro dealer said they ha they had someone they sold it to and they didn't like it. And so I they hooked me up with them and I bought it. But, you know, just looking online, Craigslist, Facebook and stuff, it's been really hard to find these used over the years because I had wanted to, you know, to save some money. And if they were, they were listed for like 800 and they're like 9.99 brand new. So why would you do that? So 9.99, I'll go get one of these. This one right here, even if you're starting your business because you could do small gates and you could start to do some front lawns. Again, if you don't have many lawns, you know, go with this one. It's awesome. Take care of it. Um, so I guess the end of the day, both are good. Um, but you know, cutting nice green grass on a high end yard and they're both on the trailer. I'm gonna get the whole residential one every time because it just more easy to use. The personal pace system works great. It's really comfortable. You can kind of just walk as you're walking. You don't have to squeeze anything like you do on that one. But I mowed that one for many years. It's good too. You know, I don't know. I mean, both is good. Like I said, if you got crews or a lot of employees, get that one. If you're going to use it yourself or if you're going to pay really careful attention and watch the guys are working with you and stuff, maybe go with this one. Save, save a lot of money. So I hope that helps you guys out on your decisions on these. I think they're a great mower. Saves you so much walking passes compared to a 21. That's really the only reason I love them and i think they're great for what they are i've had minimal issues with them and that one i've been running it's a 2014 model i think i bought it in 2015 so you know i've had it for a long time it's 2019 now and i've been you know and i work 12 months a year so I've had it for a long time um hope you guys are doing great there, there's probably always a few things i leave out on video so y'all can uh, comment below if you have any other questions i'll try to help best i can so won't ramble on anymore it's kind of my thoughts on them hope y'all are having a great day and i hope y'all are enjoying your lawn care business see ya